Hey, welcome inside our Los Angeles studios alongside Bob Myers, Kendrick Perkins. I'm Malika Andrews. The Cleveland Cavaliers, after trailing by as many as 12, they lead 53-51 at the half. The moment that Knicks fans everywhere held their breath was early in the first quarter when we saw Jalen Brunson go down with that apparent lower leg injury. He couldn't put any weight on his leg as he was walking off of the floor, being helped off of the floor, I should say. Uh, the best possible news, I guess, that we could have here is the Knicks say he is, in fact, questioning questionable to return with a sore knee. So it appears, at least for now, avoiding any serious injury. We'll update that as we hear more. But Perk, I know you were watching the Nick. You're, you're shaking your head, Bob. I just, I don't buy the questionable. I mean, I'm not right. sit him down. I mean, <laughs> one minute. It's not like, it's not, it's not funny. I mean, no. we're not laughing that he's hurt. But no, you need a little bit more that. transparency yeah, of yeah, how we saying, arrived at questions. Yeah. Que I just sure. don't think, but anyways, go yeah. ahead, Perk. Sorry. No, I mean, so. When I look at the Cavs, right, we saw them come back and they answered the call for that short stint of the mental toughness. You saw guys fighting to get over screens. You saw Jared Allen and Evan Mobley, you know, hedging out aggressive. You saw the contesting of the shots. Here's my question, Bob. Like, you have this young group, okay, that's, that's winning games and playing some beautiful basketball, but then you have the staggering of the minutes of Evan Mobley and Jared Allen. Evan Mobley didn't close the half, right? He only played 12 minutes. And so when I think about the long term in the postseason, and I go back to that leadership, who is going to be that guy that keeps everyone engaged? Because, you know, the, the postseason, that's the true definition of highs and lows. So you're going to have to have that leader because, you know, the Cleveland is at their best when they have one big on the floor. Mm -hmm. Those guys yeah. don't complement each other well. And you're right. You're right to hit on that now because those situations, those don't go away. Right, that's not just going to go away. So who is that? It's Donovan, Donovan Mitchell. It has to be Donovan Mitchell. He's, and that guy has a personality. He's capable. He's outspoken. Mm -hmm. he's, he's no question the leader of the team. So it, for him, he's going to have to manage that. That's part of winning, right? Now, you can't just go – it's hard to score 30 in the playoffs. You have to do that and manage that team, along with J.B. Bickerstaff. But, but really, um, that's the difference between them winning series and losing because they do have talent, but it's young talent and still figuring out those rotations of the bigs. Which is why you want to see them take advantage here of a depleted yeah. Knicks team, even though they don't have Donovan Mitchell tonight.